Good evening, everyone. Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Topps Finest Baseball 8-Box. Pick your team number four from Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com. We've got a team random for this. A 14-team team team random from Angels all down to uh, down to the Reds. So let me grab some dice. Let me grab a blank list. And let's get the names on the team random. Do they play that at at Royals games, Gilo? That Lord song? Uh, and so big thanks to the folks here on this list who got their team straight up. And there's the team random right there. And let's randomize that list eight times. Two and a six. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Waiting for six. Random.org. <laughs> they do play that Lord song at Royals games? It only, it only makes sense. All right, there's six. And, and a two. Seven and eight. Seven and eight. All right, Patrick K down to Jake. So congrats to... Patrick K. Who got the Angels in a team random. We'll put that little symbol next to there so you know that's from a uh, team random. Matt, nice. You got the Mariners. Carmona, so you get the Strohs. And Isaac with the Brew Crew. I think as of now, all of these are Nationals. All of these are more than the cost of the team random. Nationals for Nick L. Robert with the Rays. Jeremy Mennel with the Cubs. Derek Williams with the Giants. King D with the Royals. Brian O with the A's. Todd with the Diamondbacks. Michael with the Rockies. Arturo with the Orioles. And last but not least, we've got Jake Reams. You have the Red Legs. All right, there you go. Let's print. Let's rip. Nick L, you got your you convinced your girlfriend's dad to get into the random team to break it. What's his, what's his name? What, what team did he get? Thank, thanks for recruiting. Right, let me get a little more water, and then we'll get this break going. Oh, Matt wants to trade. Hey, that's allowed if you want to. Sorry. Um, Joe Carmonas. Matt wants to see if you want to flip teams. Yeah, I think they're, I think you're right. I think it's just like a... I'll tell you right now, actually. Astros are... Oh, man. Mariners are crushing right now. Um, Astros are forty nine ninety nine. And Mariners are fifty four ninety nine, yeah, so like a five dollar difference. 
So if you're interested in that, Joe, give me give me the heads up on that. In the meantime, for the rest of you, while we're waiting for this trade window here, let's knock out Pick Your Team 5. Or is it knocked out? It says sold out. Is that is it, is it? Did someone buy all the teams, or is this going into a team random? No, nice. Scott McNulty picked up the last five teams. All straight up. Nice. So we'll pick your team five coming up after this. Which is excellent because does that give us a chance to pick your team six tonight? If not, we'll do it tomorrow. I'll be here tomorrow. We're 20 teams away on pick your team six, so maybe not. But um, but hey, I would at least keep chipping. Get your teams before it ends up in a team random tomorrow, right? So if you see your team and you're intending to break with us tomorrow anyway, why not get it tonight? You know, just let's not worry about it tomorrow. No, yeah, it looks like Joe's not here. It's all good, all good. Just want to give it a... I keep forgetting about that, that people in the team random can trade. All right, TWC, trade window closed. Uh, all right, so here is the final printout. Right there, pick your team number four. There's everyone right there. I don't know who got last bought mojo straight up on this. This is important. I think it's a Darren Smith. It is. Darren Smith had double last spot mojo, Phillies and Pirates. There you go. This is, this is important. Last spot mojo. Double last spot mojo. So thanks for grabbing those last two teams straight up. All right. Good luck, everybody. So this break should take us pretty much to the bottom of next hour or a little bit before that. And then we'll do pick your team five. And I actually think we're done after that. That'll bring, that should bring us right to the end of the show. There's two, four, six, and All right, good luck, everybody. So right now we're doing Finest 4, Pick Your Team 4. Immediately after that, we'll do Finest 5. And I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Um, everything else tomorrow, but if that Vertex goes, I know I know, Dude wants to do that Vertex. If that Vertex goes, I'll do it tonight. It's only a one-box break. Otherwise, if it hasn't filled up by the end of uh, the next two breaks, then we'll, uh, we'll call it a night. We had a pretty solid night, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Um, Andrew, Andrew's asking if there's any chance for pick your team six. I would, I would do pick your team six. I'll tell you what, Andrew, if pick your team six fills up after, um, after pick your team four and five. So this is four, five is already full. That's next. That brings us right to the end of the show. I'll make a deal with you. If pick your team six sells out by then, I'll do it. I mean, at this hour, this late, this late, usually I'm always one to be like, yeah, of course, it's going to sell out tonight. But we are in the last hour of the broadcast. So 
it's looking like it's tomorrow. But I'm down to do it tonight if it fills. Hey, if you dig, if you dig deep, I'll dig deep. We'll all dig deep and try to get some big hits. All right. So two autographs per box, one per mini box. And our first autograph is Jake Bowers for Robert Throne, who got the raise in a team random. So I have financial interest in the Astros tonight, and they're down 14 to 1 going into the top of the ninth. What do you think? The, you think Vegas is even giving odds on uh, <laughs> live odds on the Astros on an Astros comeback? Probably not, right? So we'll see. There's Billy Hamilton, the speedster, 49 out of 50. I have to stay later for leaving early. The other, when did I leave early the other night? That's not how it works, Rex. And there's David Fletcher, rookie auto. David Fletcher, look at David Fletcher for your fantasy teams, folks. He's actually been low-key playing pretty well. Patrick Kay with the Angels. I don't know how that translates to the hobby, but fantasy baseball wise. Oh, I don't think I ended up leaving that much earlier than usual, Rex. I'm salaried, Rex. My, my schedule is pretty flexible. As long as the... Uh, actually, let's keep, just keep this right here. As long, long as the dollars keep rolling in. Rex, as long as the dollars keep rolling in. Nice, Sam. Thank you. He's getting the Royals in number six. If that inspires anybody to get teams in six. Even if it doesn't break tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I would encourage everybody to get their teams in six because that's probably a good candidate uh, to turn into a spot random for tomorrow. So just pro tip for those of you watching right now who are eyeing break six, who are in intending to get into break six. For now, we only have Finest 4, which we're doing right now, and Finest 5 on the schedule, which is coming up right after this. Um, now, I did I did promise that uh, that if Vertex or Finest 6 sells out by the end of Finest 5, I'll do it. Why not? Yeah, my, my offshore book is not offering any live money lines on the Astros to come back 13 runs. <laughs> All right, there's Ronald Guzman, 20 out of 50 gold for the Rangers. And there's Ryan Baruki for the Blue Jays. Jeremy Tillman with the Blue Jays. That's why I flipped the pack. Because the autograph is always in the same spot. I didn't want the autograph to pop too early. And they're usually in that same area. Buster Posey to 250. I think he, he just went on the IL. And nice. Jose Altuve. 36 out of 50. Finest Origins gold autograph going to Joe Carmonas. 
Here you go, Joe. Nice hit, Joe. Next box. Oh, Andrew said he picked up the uh, picked up the Angels and the Phillies in Pick Your Team Six. Is this gonna happen? Sam's got the Royals. Andrew's got the Angels and the Phillies. Who knows? Yeah, Matt's saying good hold on that trade too. Yeah, I think Carmos was tempted to take that deal. All right, and Sam is letting people know that the most expensive team left in Pick Your Team 6 is only $54.99. It's not that bad. Maybe we can do it tonight. It's not a very long break. It's like 25, 30 minutes. I think the last one uh, without the team random is like sub, sub 30 minutes. So if we sell it out straight up, we'll be able to fly right through it and get into it. God, is that true, Rex? Rex is letting us know there's another TV show reboot, Punky Brewster, where she plays herself as a mother of three and trying to get her life back in shape. How many washed up actors from like from like 80s and 90s shows are like desperately waiting for their show to become a reboot? <laughs> like, oh, I can't wait. Can't wait till it's my turn for the reboot. There's Max Kepler to 150. Was that show good? I don't remember. I don't remember watching that show. Was it good? Maybe I'm being harsh on a on a show that was actually good. Another David Fletcher, Rookie Auto, Green Wave, 51 out of 99 for Patrick Kay and the Angels. Is she Rex? Rex thinks she's hot. Your, that was your first celebrity crush? I mean, she all right. All right. Although I do want to say I saw, I think I feel like I saw a picture of her recently and that she had aged really well. There's Javier Baez to 250. And there's Tuki Toussaint. That's for Patrick Kay and the Braves. Nice. I like his autograph. Got him on my fantasy team. High strikeout rate. Just needs to keep the walks down. All right. Next one. Did she really? What's her what what what's the what's her name? What's the actress's name? She actually she apparently had breast reduction because they were larger than Dolly Parton. Yeah, they can be a hassle. A lot of back issues that could stem from that. Possible greater danger of, of breast cancer. Well, what, what other so what other reboots are there going to be, Rex? I'm tired of these reboots. Is is Hollywood that void of original content? I think it is. Or maybe there's just too much content, right? Like there's too many channels. There's like your network television shows, dozens of cable channels that are trying to get, you know, get uh, their own channels going. You know, a dozen streaming platforms that are trying to get original content going hulu amazon netflix disney plus espn plus you have original content there 
YouTube is doing original content. So I guess at some point you run out of things. And then you have to you have to resort to the reboot. You know, end up having to reboot a show instead. Maybe that's what it is. There is Jose Barrios to ninety nine. And there's Ryan O'Hearn. Wait, so what's her name? So so Lee, the last Ellis Island, not Solil, like Cirque de Sol Soleil. <laughs> oh, is it Soleil? Moon Fry, like Cirque de Soleil. Our parents French. There's the Mariano Rivera die cut. Some of these can be autographed. And there's Mookie Betts to 150. Should be one more autograph in here, right? Yep, there it is. It's Rowdy Tellez coming into focus. Come on, focus. Rowdy. Doesn't want to focus. Rowdy Rowdy Tellez, come on. Camera's tired already. There it is. 56 out of 99. There we go. Green, Rowdy, Rowdy Tellez going to Jeremy Tillman, the Blue Jays. Uh, yes, I think a majority of these are, are uh, on card. There may, be an, there may be a situation where maybe an insert autograph would have a sticker, but I think all the, all the other autographs, most of them are on card, if not all. All right, we are already halfway through this break. Got four boxes left, making good time on this. Actually, no, I'm not making good time on this. Oh, no, we had a team random, that's why. I was like, why are we already at the 22 minute mark? And I realized, oh, there was a team random and added time. Generally, yes. I think I think collectors tend to prefer the on card over the sticker. But I mean that's only if there was on card version of Rowdy Rowdy Tellez and then a sticker version of the same card, right? Then it'd make a difference. But a lot of times uh, you know, a sticker product will be a sticker product and then on-card product would be an on-card product. There won't be too much overlap, at least enough to make enough of a comparable decision. But, but yeah, generally speaking, on-cards are preferable. Sometimes there's some products that do a good job at hiding the sticker. You know, like triple threads is a good idea, a good example of a product that has sticker autos, but they build that into the design of the card so it doesn't seem like there's, it's not as noticeable. So. Andrew, uh, yeah, if six doesn't fill tonight, probably around three o'clock LA time tomorrow. That's when I go on air, go through some orders, and then maybe at the latest, 3.30ish, we'd probably start the break. Oh, Will Smith with another home run. Catcher Will Smith on the Dodgers. Out of 150, Whit Merrifield, cool Whit. And wow, nice. Ronald Acuna Jr., finest origins autograph. That'll be for Patrick K and the Bravos. Oh, 
There's Josh Hader, 250. And the seemingly one per case, Justice Sheffield. He seems to be that guy this year. Chad Wright with the Yankees. Solid, though. Should be a Mariner, Chad, but but still solid for the Yankees. So there you go. There's Josh Hader. SKS saying Rangers got left out of top's finest. Um, uh, I saw, didn't we see a Ronald Guzman autograph for the Rangers? Maybe not in this break, maybe a different break. They're around. What's up, EA? Yes, I feel like we've pulled all the big names except for uh, except for Tatis Jr. We, we have pulled at least one of the bigger names. And I think Tatis Jr. is the last rookie. Will Smith appears to be trying for a comeback. Aladdin. There's a movie where he plays his younger and older self, and he's filming Bad Boys 3 now. Yeah. Maybe. How old are his kids? That that usually is what does it. Once once the kids are like in high school or like going into college or something like or are like are older at least. You start seeing actors like working a lot more. Yeah, I'm doing well, EA. We had a pretty solid day. As usual. Yeah, hey, maybe it's maybe it's time for that to tease. We haven't. This is case four. We haven't seen him in three, and almost three quarter of the case. We still have two, four, six autographs to go. Is he live? Or is he a redemption? Oh, if there's any uh, mystery redemption, it's not gonna be too common. But if there's a mystery redemption, I, we still have not have confirmation that mystery redemption A or mystery redemption one is Vlad Guerrero Jr. But for now, before they're officially announced by like Beckett or Cardboard, even CardboardConnection.com, we will uh, just randomize it to one person in the break and we'll separate them too. They will not be a lot. All right, so see, he is live and you've seen him on eBay. Okay, so we're looking for live Fernando Tatis, among others. And there's Corbin Burns. <laughs> that kind of looked like Padres colors there. I thought, is, is it there? Isaac with the Brew Crew. It's rookie Corbin Burns autograph. Nice. With authority. And that's a numbered Mariano Rivera die cut. That's out of 50. Nice, Yankees. Chad Wright with that one. Maybe we just need to find one that's autographed, Chad. That'd be cool. There's another one there. Xander Bogarts, 99. EA, how do you feel about the Cubs getting Kimbrel? And there's Ryan Baruki for Jeremy Tillman and the Blue Jays out of 150. EA's like, we need him. Do you believe in it though? He seemed to have a rough, rough last end of the season, kind of a rough postseason. But I guess if he's, I guess the idea is maybe, uh, yeah, bullpen. Try. I saw that. Bullpen. I wasn't on any of those teams when we were watching that game. All right, Andrew. Yeah, we're we not. I think maybe only a couple people have made the move on. Pick your team six. Let's see what's going on there. Pick your team six is actually down to fifteen.
Yeah, what's going on, Brandon Morrow? That's what Rex is hoping he doesn't end up like a Brandon Morrow. Yeah, <laughs> Eric's like, yeah, can't be any worse. Why not get Kim Roll? So well, I think I saw a report that he's getting paid 43 over 3. That's not bad, I guess. I'd keep the keep that uh keep the years low, I think is smart. And what's going on with Zobra? Did, did I hear that he's is he going through a bad divorce? Is that what I heard on MLB Network? Next one. So, so she cheated on him, apparently, allegedly. But then, what? Oh, we. I feel like we discussed this. Like, but why would he be on the restricted list, unless she cheated on him with someone on the team? Right. Which then Zobers would be like, I don't want to come here. I don't want to be in the clubhouse with this guy. There's Francisco Arcia for the Angels. That's for Patrick Kay. So I thought that was kind of a weird, a weird deal. People cheat on each other all the time, and especially in professional. If you're especially a professional athlete, so why would why would he suddenly be on the restricted list? Let's get, let's get TMZ on the case. There's Danny Jansen to 250. Pulled a Super Fractor autograph earlier. And Orange Wave Justice Sheffield. 10 out of 25. Nice one for Chad Wright and the Yankees. Oh, yeah. So he may retire anyway. All right, last box coming up. Good luck, everybody. Last two autographs in Pick Your Team 4. Coming up right after this is uh, Pick Your Team 5, which sold out straight up. So we'll be diving right into that after I put this break away, after it's done. Take my five, ten minutes, and then we'll dive into Pick Your Team 5. And it looks like we'll probably call it a night after, after that, unless... Maybe we knock out that vertex. Maybe that's no spots have moved in that. We're down to 15 on that finest, but that might, on the next finest, pick your team six. So that might be a little too late. But I said if we fill that, if we fill up six by the end of five, if you guys dig deep, I'm down. I'll do it. If not, no worries. We got we got to have things to do tomorrow too. All right, good luck, everybody. Last two autos. Let's see what we got. You see, they're bringing back. Uh, see, they're bringing back. Um, press your luck. Out of twenty-five, Kyle Tucker. No whammies. No whammies. No whammies. No whammies. No whammies. No whammies. Stop. Tyler O'Neill, Cardinals. That goes to Derek Williams, who got the Cardinals straight up. Right, I, I actually just literally heard that right now too. 
John Samuelson. Zobris on the restricted list, meaning the Cubs don't have to pay him. Means you don't have to pay him, so that's how they can afford to pay uh, Kimbrel. No, I think I, I Rex like that would be awesome. I, I'm pretty sure they're bringing. I thought I thought I saw a commercial for it. And we've got Yadier Molina, gold. Prize performers, gold, to 50. And we close out with Williams Astudio. 47 out of 50. Uh, veteran commons that we don't ship end up getting donated. They either get donated to local charity, or we sell them to give money to charity. So they go to, they go to a good place. All right, there you go. Pick your team four in the books. From jazbeescasebreaks.com, pick your team five coming up next. Thanks, everyone.